What's up guys? How you guys doing? It's your girl with some Maria again. I'm back with another video. Oh, oh. My phone lights up, but it's never you. I can't help but feel so lonely and all this. So guys, so watching Avatar Z Last Airbender season three episode seven oh my god guys we're about we're about to hit the middle of season three the finale oh it's been a roller coaster of emotions with avatar it feels so good watching this again from a grown-up's point of view because when i watched this when i first watched avatar i was pretty young probably even around there, I was around their age, like an Aang age, like 12, and I was looking at it from a child's perspective, but now looking at it now, it's just a whole new world, you know? I'm just like, whoa. I never noticed it before, and I never noticed some um, sexual tension. <laughs> but um, yeah, Avatar is one of the best shows, and I don't need to explain to you guys why, because you were watching this, so you obviously know that it's the best show ever. So, last episode, if I'm not mistaken, let me just make sure it's the right one. Oh, yeah, 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 it is. Okay, just want to make sure. We got to see both point of views of Fire Lord Ozai, uh, Ozai? No, Fire Lord. Sozin, Fire Lord Sozin. I remember that because they named the comet after him, Sozin's Comet. Yeah, Fire Lord. I'm just gonna call him Sozin because Fire Lord Sozin is just so extra, so extra. Sozin and Avatar Roku. <laughs> yeah, we've got to see both their point of views, Aang saying from the Avatar point of view, and then um, Zuko saying from the Fire Lord point of view, which I love the fact that they did that because they both got to see it from their past points of views because um obviously Zuko is supposed to be the next Fire Lord even though his sister is obviously trying to knock him out from, from the competition for good because she's trying to undermine him at every turn trying to make him lose like think he's going crazy like did you see her at the beach when he was trying to figure out why he was just so mad and she right there like oh, what are you mad at Zuko <laughs> like they're just smirking loving the fact that like her brother's in pain. I don't know what um, happened in the, I think it was the comic books. I, I don't know if that's what you call them. But when, you know, Zuko and the Aang gang was trying to find Zuko's mom. I know they made like a whole little series about that in like a book series. And I want to read it, but I'm low-key hoping and praying that they do like a little short, like even if it's just one season of that, because I just want to see, I just want to see it, I want to see it come to fruition, but I do want to read it, honestly. I do want to see what um, they went through. The only thing I think I know from what went on in that, I, I think Azula, I think Zuko did um, let Azula join them, I think. I don't know, like I said, I've never read the books, but I think I've heard that was in it i'm calling the books because i don't know what to call them but you know i also got to enjoy and seeing roko's point of view and seeing that they were best friends and that he tried to convince him to stop the war but he was he, he obviously couldn't because he was betrayed and and told the Yang gang <laughs> uh, about the experience and he was like what he did that to his friend uh, sorry something was on me <laughs> he's like he did that to his friend he's like i don't think that was the point of it i was like oh do tell do tell do tell ang and he was like if you're capable of good you're capable of bad you're capable of bad you're capable of good which is true i have stated this before numerous times you guys do watch some of the clips that i do talk about i like when a tv show or movie explains this to people because it's not a bad person it's just a person doing bad things if you're capable of good you're capable of bad and i feel like a lot of people um forget that sometimes i guess this, uh, some people are really truly not capable of feeling anything like lack of empathy you know but 
at the end of the day, that doesn't automatically mean that they're a bad person. It just means I don't feel anything for that for, for people. So they could be a normal guy just helping you out. You would never know unless you know. So I'm glad that they explained that in the um, uh, episode. I really did enjoy it. One of the best episodes of season three. Uh, obviously, obviously my favorite season. I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen in these next couple of episodes. Also, we have the guy chasing after them. Chasing after Aang, I should say, because he has to kill the Avatar because Zuko hired a hitman. But anyway, before I begin, guys, I do want to say if you guys do want to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below if you're excited. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button while you're at it. And if you want to check out my other channels, they're linked below as always. So, that was a mouthful. Without further ado, let's get on um, with the video. Selfish and unhelpful. What? Look here, sugar queen. <laughs> I sugar gave up queen. everything I had so that I could teach Aang. Ugh. How could you do this to me? You betrayed me! You brought the... I just got chills. <sighs> Folk, no way Katara would sell Top out. They've been through too much together. Three days earlier. Maybe you should take your own advice, Top. What's the matter? Can't handle some dirt, Madam Fussy Bridges. Oh, should have said that. Had enough training for today. Well, Katara cleans up. <laughs> I look so good. Oh, the hawk. Right? Oh, wait, no, 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 my. <laughs> you messed with the wrong girl. You there. Want to play a friendly game? How could I possibly. <laughs> oh, my God. She's gonna win. 40 silver pieces it is. Wow, that's how you make money quick. How's nobody seeing him lifting it up though? Are they just too busy distracted? with it. I'm not chilling. <laughs> Come on, he's he's a kid. Let him be a kid. Even though I don't think uh, kids gamble, but it's what it is. <laughs> Dang! You didn't even have time to react. Just freaking swinged it. Wow. Guys, I think these scams have gone far. Yeah, I think that's enough you... now. We've already got some third-eyed freak after us. Speaking of that third-eyed freak, I think I've come up with a name for him. Do tell. What do you... <laughs> I think we added the dramatic music to it to make it seem more intimidating. <laughs> Oh no. Who's got pretty feathers? Yep, she won't it. Toph, when I was in town, I found something that you're not gonna like. Well, it's sad that you made the but I guess you're referring to what. Why do you guys keep forgetting she's blind? Gee. Like expensive atlases. <laughs> of course you do. And that's why this wanted poster is going. <laughs> well, look who just. Fine, it's a lie. <laughs> but you've been so out of control lately. 
I knew something was up. I knew... Yes, ma'am. I can't yes, be around you right now. Well, I can't be around... Everything, your friend Toph. I know this is from you, Sokka. Toph can't write. Oh. <laughs> so, well, you guys forget that she's blind, so. Yeah. How you can deal with it. Actually, in a way, I rely on it. I don't understand. When I'm... It really seems like my whole life, Katara's been the one looking out for me. Trying to make you a better person. Yep. Oh, and I'm done with them. Actually, I wasn't going to apologize. I was gonna say I want to pull. <laughs> yep. Then you metal bend yourself out of jail, and we're on our way. <laughs> now they thought to connect me. in charge. I'm in charge. He's starting to But I can have fun too. Katara, you are fun. <laughs> if nothing else... So sweet. Yes, feel it. Yep, that's an airbending. Dang, it's not all the gobbledgers. But you all with it anyway. For some of the other teams, sweat in Avatar. Let's hope it doesn't backfire. <laughs> so guys, that was my reaction to Avatar The Last Airbender Season 3 Episode... Assume. <laughs> oh my god, guys. That episode was crazy. We got a lot of um, emotions out in the group, which I think is healthy in moderation. Um, because for a long time they 
they, they didn't really voice their opinions about each other or um, disagree for a while at least from what I could see so I think once in a while it's good to air out how you feel about somebody you know keeping stuff in is very toxic very bad for the boche so I'm glad that Katara was there right there you know listening she didn't intervene because that was Sokka and tough moment to you know discuss yes they were technically talking about her but they weren't talking with her so you know she had a right to listen but i'm glad she didn't interrupt that was good for her to hear it and really soak it in and that's how you could that's how you know guitar is like super mature for age like we've been knew that but we know it now more than more more now because um you know what uh, an adult you know listens but a uh, leader listens and you know takes the criticism good and bad and really lets it mold them and help them you know and she took it like a grown woman like she is and she was like okay and start and it's not where they're coming from let's have some fun and like i said i really i just like the duo they create they're just so powerful together and i'm so glad they work out they do work out their differences and um they agree that they're not alike at all but they're teammates and they care about each other and they love each other and like i say Toph brings out the kid guitar and guitar brings out the grown-up and Toph. they they complement each other really well as friends you know they are a really good duo very powerful duo like have you ever seen them fight like oh my god their masters. I still look you want to see Toph and um, Azula fight because I do think Toph can will crush Azula. But I think that's why Azula never really fought her before, or the why I've even seen that because Toph would what? <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, Azula is a very tough opponent, but I do think Toph could get the upper hand because she's not like she's not like. Um, Aang or guitar, she she will crush you. She's like, okay, all right. It's like, oh, please have mercy on me. All right, that's enough now. You can go. <laughs> Leave me alone. Like Aang and Aang and guitar. I mean, uh, yeah, Aang and guitar. Be like, as long as you promise to change, doesn't change. <laughs> I think um, guitar is a bit more um, not as trusting, I should say, as Aang. Aang is definitely, you know, the it's not a bad thing at all. She he has a, a heart, a bigger heart than everybody else, and he wants to. He follows every life. That's the thing about being an airbender, a nomad. You know, and he's even a vegan. Is it a vegan or vegetarian? He's a vegan, and he values every creature, and that's what I love most about him. He's so sweet, and even Fire Lord Ozai, he's like he's another human being. I can't hurt him. Nigga, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy my reaction and enjoy me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button while you're at it. And don't forget to check out my other channel. And yeah, that's me. Peace.